one, two, three, and to the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the door. Just kidding. Hello everyone and welcome to LHS News Magazine. I'm Ian Cannon. I'm Ronnie Jones and you're watching our first ever homecoming special. This episode will cover homecoming 2016 at Loudoun High, but let's start off with some teacher wisdom. Take it away, Facente. And my wisdom for today would be to do all of your homework. Do your homework each night so you can stay on track. Thank you. To work hard, push hard to the end, Keep working and believe in magic because snow dances can work. Always eat Chick-fil-A. You should do what you need to do when you need to do it, and then you will have more time to do what you want to do. Well, students, winter's coming up. Hopefully, we're going to have a lot of snow. Maybe a few days off. That's always good. Mr. Hopper's word of advice. When you're having snow and you're out playing in snow, if you see yellow snow, don't eat it. That's a bad thing. I know from experience. Mr. Hopper, on your side. Two, one. Well, <laughs> such wise words. We take you now to dress up days. My name is Marco Mejia, and welcome to Loudon High School's Homecoming Week. Thank you for watching LHS News, and that is all for today. Those were some interesting fashion choices. Now let's go to the Redskin Aficionados.
Hi, how y'all doing? Rodney Jones here. Welcome to LHS Magazine. Today we'll be covering the dark side of Rescue Nation and behind the scenes. Take it to you, Ian. Thanks, Rodney. Later today we'll be discovering the dark side of Rescue Nation. But little do they know, we have a surprise for them. Take it to Ian. Thanks, Ian. We're here with the leader of Redskin Nation, Alex McBride. What the? What? What? Uh, He's baby birds are everywhere, man. Yeah. All right. So, what? What would you say would be the your least favorite thing about Redskin Nation? Uh, my least favorite thing is without a doubt the freshmen. Uh, the immaturity of the freshmen, basically, is just I just just don't like them, you know. Yeah. All right, so what? The floats are painted right here. What? What do you think about these floats? Uh, I th <laughs> Ethan, what would you say would be your least favorite thing about Redskin Nation? Probably the freshmen, because they don't know what they're doing and they get on my nerves. I hate you. We're here at the Vice Center, Hunter. Hunter, what do you think about Redskin Nation? I hate the freshmen. Uh, what do you think about the floats that they're doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's all we have here outside. Back to you, Rodney. Well, guess no one likes the freshman. Thanks again for that great report. That's all she wrote here at LHS Magazine. Catch you soon. Great stuff from the aficionados. That was just an amazing segment. Thank you guys for that beautiful work of art. You guys are intelligently geniuses. Thank you. Well, it was a heated contest between the classes this year when display building started. Each team seemed confident they would win. Let's see what happened. Anna, tell us more. Hi, today we're going to be showing you the 2016 displays for homecoming. Basically what we're doing on the float is we are making a boom box on top of the, uh, on a football field with a field goal post and we're going to have music notes attaching from the top of the field goal post to the boom box and inside the boom box is going to play All Hail the Redskins and on the uh, base it's going to say Redskins. Mm -hmm. So we're going to build, a, instead of a measuring machine, a Redskin machine with a tribute to some of the old LH Redskin alumni. Class of 2018, junior class this year. Plan this year, let's get that win. Beat the seniors, beat the freshmen, beat the sophomores, everybody. Can't tell you what we're doing, it's confidential. We should win because we built this float in the spirit of a true redskin. Once a redskin, always a redskin. <laughs> Our plan for the float is uh, we're going to have a photo booth. So it's going to be standing up, you're going to walk in, and then there'll be curtains on every side of it. And then you'll look, and there'll be a guy with a camera, and he's going to be taking your picture and you're going to have a backdrop behind you. And since we're the 50th graduating class, we're going to have a, like an old school theme, you know, with wigs and, you know, the old wigs and makeup and costumes and all that and old newspapers. So you'll take a picture with that and then you'll exit 
and then we'll have decorations on the outside. And whoever the best, whoever has the best picture, might get a prize or something. in this place for homecoming. Hope you guys enjoy watching. Awesome, thanks Anna. Those floats looked amazing, especially the juniors class. I don't know, the sophomores are pretty good since they won. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Wow, what a great commercial break. I need that. I'm getting a little tired sitting in this seat. Well, we're going to go straight to the Redskin Olympics where the juniors were just pounding on those seniors all day long. We had a lot of fun. There were uh, obstacle course, frozen t-shirts, a whole lot of stuff. Let's just take it to Michael and Caitlin and see what actually went down.
the girls that are going to give you a big smooch. Oh. <laughs> Katie's mom, all right, she's pretty popular. All right, last but not least, 